What's good, y'all? I don't know why, but in this new season two update, 2K decides to nerf one of the best dribble moves in 2K ever. And that move being the momentum dribble. And the way that they nerfed it is that anytime you hold down the right trigger and you try to do the momentum dribble, if you spam it, if you use it in your combos, however you use it, if you hold down the right trigger, you lose an adrenaline boost. And if you're a guard or anybody that dribbles in this game, you know how important adrenaline boosts are. But I got y'all because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to spam the momentum dribble and also use it in your combos the same way that you did before the update. All right, so for y'all that don't already know, the way you do the momentum dribble or the way you did it before the update is you hold down your right trigger as you can see on the uh, controller cam and you flick your right stick up and then flick your left stick up diagonally into the direction you're going so the ball's in my left hand so i'm going to flick my right stick up and then i'm going to follow my left stick diagonally up to that same side which is the right side in this case but when i do that y'all can see that i lose an adrenaline boost and to me that is wild this is just one move like the momentum dribble is not overpowered it's not cheesy i don't feel like in my opinion it's not cheesy it's not overpowered so why would you make me lose a whole adrenaline boost off of just that one move when this is the most important thing to a dribbler y'all y'all know if you run out of, look i run out of dribbling boost that's that's 31 minutes i'm out i cannot speed boost like look look at my player bro like I can't do anything. So why would they nerf that? It doesn't make sense to me because like this move is not overpowered. It's not super cheesy or nothing like that, but they want to touch it. It's like they want to nerf dribbling one patch at a time and get rid of dribblers in this game. But that's why it's not good to hold down the right trigger. As y'all can see, anytime I do this one simple move, I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really getting open or nothing like that. I lose my adrenaline boost. That's not the way to do it no more. I'm gonna show you how I can do it now after the update. Before that, I want to explain y'all why this move is so important, y'all. It's not super cheesy. It's not overpowered. It doesn't really, get you open a lot, but it starts off a lot of your combos, it's using a lot of combos, like, this move is very important, like, y'all can see it makes it smooth, it makes your dribbling smooth, it makes putting combos together, chaining combos together smooth, y'all, it's like a, it's like a combo trainer, y'all, it's super important for all dribblers in this game, some people don't use it, but people that don't use it, they use different, different moves that are kind of harder than the momentum dribble, but as y'all can see, if I come down the court, I'm gonna do a momentum, and then I'm gonna uh, pull back, get into some combos, if I'm crabbing, pull back, momentum, like, it's just so many moves that this move is used in to have you lose an adrenaline boost every time you do it. You can do it one time, you lose a whole boost. All right, so this is the way that y'all do the momentum dribble without losing the adrenaline boost, y'all. So you don't want to hold your right trigger at all. You don't want to use your right trigger. And it's kind of weird if you've already gotten used to hold down the right trigger and then doing momentum into your crabs or doing momentum into your pullbacks and hold down the right trigger. It's kind of something you got to get used to all over again. You got to not relearn how to dribble, but change up your dribbling a little bit and remember not to hold down the right trigger. So if the ball's in your left hand, you wanna flick up on your right stick as I said earlier, and then flick your left stick diagonally up left or right, whichever way you're going. So right now I'm gonna flick diagonally up to the right because the ball's goes to my right hand. So it's just simple as that. As y'all can see, I'm not losing any adrenaline boost. I'm doing my middle dribble. And when you not when you don't hold R2, it's kind of weird. It's, I don't want to say it's harder, but it's definitely smoother when you use the right trigger. But you still can do the middle dribble. You still can spam it. You can still add it into your combos. You just have to remember not to hold down the right trigger because losing one adrenaline boost is crucial in this game. Because like I said, if y'all seen it earlier, whenever you're at an adrenaline boost, you can't move at all. You're moving like a snail, like a slug, like you're stuck to the ground feeding mud, all that. Now I wanna show y'all some of the combos I've been talking about throughout this video. So the first combo I wanna talk about is momentum snatchback. So momentum and then snatchback. That is a very good move to start your combos off. Come down the court, do this move. You can do both hands, it don't really matter crab into it you can do it behind the back so that's one very important move that this momentum is using is that momentum pullback another move i like to use the momentum dribble in is the momentum crab so i do a momentum dribble and then right after i'm crabbing so that's a good way to crab your defender or start combos very very good move y'all it's a very solid move i don't understand why the momentum dribble was even touched because it's not overpowered. It's just a way to chain your moves together. I don't understand why 2K would make you lose a whole adrenaline boost. It's still, it's just amazing. I don't understand, but 2K is gonna try to pass dribbling as much as they can. We just gotta adapt to it, y'all. We gotta learn, we gotta figure out ways around it. But as y'all can see, this is a very important and useful move. And if you wanna learn other good moves in 2K23, click on this video right here.